into Anthony Martial. Now it's Morgan Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin turns his defender and scores. It was a quality finish from a CDM, but you know, Morgan Schneiderlin has scored some important goals for us. He's been really good throughout this series. How is it going? It is S2G and welcome to Season 2, Episode number 13 of the Manchester United Career Mode Series. In today's episode, we'll be having the second leg of the Champions League Round of 16 against Roma. We'll also be facing Spurs. Apart from that, Nicholas Bentner will be visiting Old Trafford. We'll be facing Newcastle and Newcastle have signed Bentner. That is going to be an interesting game. We'll also be having that game against Spurs, as I said First versus second, that's very interesting. But first up, Champions League game against Roma. First leg, we beat them two goals nil. Now it's time for the second leg away from home. And if we win this game, and even if we draw it actually, we will go to the next round of the Champions League. So in my opinion, I think it's already done. Two nil is a very good result in the first leg. And let's see if you guys can predict the team we'll be facing in the next round of the Champions League, provided if we get through against Roma, which I think we will. But make sure to leave your prediction only after this game against Roma. But anyways, this. This is the team I'm going with. It's a pretty strong lineup. Cristiano Ronaldo, Dybala and Bale up front. Barkley, Kante and Schweinsteiger in midfield. Wendell, Varane, Smalling and Bellerin in defence and De Gea as our goalkeeper. Now first chance here for us. This wasn't a game with too many chances but we had one early on in this game. Dybala with the shot. Diego Alves makes a save. Barkley couldn't control it well and get a shot off. And the score remained nil-nil. But I'm happy with the nil-nil. That puts us into the next round of the Champions League. But we were really dominating this game. Dybala with some fantastic footwork. Takes the shot off. It's blocked by Emerson. Kante with the shot. Dybala then with the bicycle kick. And oh my god. How haven't we scored there? That was such a good chance to score. I think we had like three opportunities to score there. And we bottled all three of them. But now a chance here again for us. It's Ross Barkley on the ball into Bale. Bale fakes past the defender. It's still Garrett Bale here. Bale strikes it well. And he tried to, you know, curl it past the keeper. But couldn't get much on it and it went towards the near post and it hit the near post not that great a shot from Garrett Bale here's Bale again flicks the ball over the defender takes a shot there again again Diego Alves with the save I mean whenever I've come up against Diego Alves on career mode he's been just insane making some ridiculous saves but that doesn't really matter now we're going through to the next round of the Champions League now in the quarterfinals last season we got out from the you know Champions League in the round of 16 this season we have gone one step further now in the quarterfinals let's see if you guys can predict the team we'll be facing in the next round of the Champions League it could be Munchen Gladbach it could be Sevilla it could be Bayern Munich it could literally be any of those teams you saw there so do drop in your prediction and we'll see if any of you guys do get it right as you can see Ante Herrera and both Michael Carrick want more game time I will be able to give Herrera more game time because he's younger and plus we have cup games etc to give him chances in but the thing is with Carrick he's old and I don't really want to play him if I want to play a backup midfielder instead of Schneiderlin I would go for Kante and not Carrick so Carrick I'm sorry you won't be getting much game time but Schneiderlin Herrera are playing this game let's see if this midfield can do us wonders Luke Shaw plays the ball into Yanazai it's still Yanazai here Adnan Yanazai goes Goes past the defenders, takes a shot, it's blocked by the defender, and then he just walks it home. So after like six minutes, we get the first goal of this game. 1-0 to Manchester United. Now in this game, as it's an FA Cup game, I'm only showing you guys the goals of this game, not too much of the other highlights. Apart from that, I'm playing my second team for this one, and that's why my defense was so bad in this game. Actually, they did score here in the ninth minute, so an eventful first 10 minutes, and surprisingly, it was Adebayo who scored for them. Now, as you can see, they have a corner here, but we're on the counter from it. It's Kenny Tete on the ball. This could be a really good counter. It's Jesse Lingard on the ball here. Lingard uses his pace to go past the defenders. There are four defenders behind him. Lingard still has the pace. Lingard shoots and straight into the top right corner. That is Jesse Lingard for you. I mean, I didn't know he was that fast, but really, he just got away from those defenders in just an instant. The defenders had absolutely no chance, and we're going to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We are seriously in the run for a treble right now. Just imagine guys, second season with Manchester United and getting a treble done. That is just absolutely ridiculous. As you can see guys, Phil Jones has declined the contract offer we offered him in the last episode. Now it's up to you guys to decide. Should we persuade him to stay or let him leave and bring in a better centre back next season? It is up to you guys. He's not been that great this season. To be fair, he hasn't even played that many games but still, if he wants to leave or you, you guys want me to you know, keep him, just let me know down in the comment section below. But if he really wants to leave, I am. I have no 
problem selling him. But now, guys, it's time to face Newcastle United at home. We are top of the league right now, and I intend to stay top of the league. But this game could be tricky. Bentner has signed for Newcastle United, and of course, we have to face Lord Bentner, and that is not an easy task. I don't know how Varane and Smalling are going to contain Nicholas Bentner. Here's Barkley now on the ball. Garrett Bell here. We could have, we could actually outscore them because the defenders don't have any Bentners. Here's Garrett Bell on the ball. He takes the shot. Krul makes the save. I think our only hope for this game is to outscore them because Bentner can score any instant. Look at that. Bentner just pushing Cristiano off. He passes the ball there, and of course, because of that, they couldn't score. If Bentner would have just taken the shot there, he would have probably scored himself. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo now on the ball. It is still Cristiano Ronaldo. Cuts inside. Ronaldo plays the one to Dybala. It falls to Schweinsteiger who smashes it. And I was talking about outscoring them. And this might just do it. What a strike that was from Masti and Schweinsteiger. 56 minutes gone. 1-0 to Manchester United. That was a brilliant goal from Schweinsteiger. He just put his foot through it and that's a brilliant goal. Definitely he's been one of the best players in this episode so far in the games he's played. Been an unsung hero in midfield. Done really well. Now a chance for Bentner to score De Gea with the save and Bentner has missed an open goal I mean it probably meant that because Bentner can't miss such goals he's too good for that he probably didn't want to score against us probably didn't want to upset the fans but really I don't know what happened to him but anyways there Bentner misses an open goal as sitter now a chance over De Jong to score De Jong takes the shot there but De Gea makes a very good save still 1-0 to Manchester United and the game does end 1-0 to us and let's just stop the banter anyways you know Bentner I mean he's kind of shit in this game and uh, after all he missed that open goal I expected him to score there and I thought we'll drop points there but that was such a bad miss from Nicholas Bentner but anyways the Lord Bentner we faced him and we conquered him so that's pretty good as you can see the league table four points above Spurs which I think is pretty good and now we'll be facing them so if Spurs win this game the gap will just be one point and Spurs will be back in the title race which is something I don't want so as you can see it's time to face Spurs and of course it's going to be a really good game hopefully we will be able to get all three points in this one and put Spurs out of the title race and definitely guarantee us a Premier League title this is the team I'm going it for this game against Spurs. Martial, Ronaldo, Lingard, Mata, Schneider, and Herrera. Luke Shaw, Varane, Sula, Tete, and De Gea as our goalkeeper. It's a strong lineup. We have the first chance of this game coming from a free kick. Cristiano to take it. He hits the post there. Lamella is now on the ball. It's still Lamella. I don't know why he did this, but just look at this. What a touch that was from Fazio. Ball just fell to Martial, and he just tucked it home. 1 0. Easy stuff from Manchester United. What a mistake that was from Federico Fazio. Just gifted Martial a goal and now we have a chance here to give them a goal Eriksen now on the ball here yeah, takes a shot there but De Gea made the save I think it hit the post as well I mean our defender I think it was our left back who just gave the ball away to Walker headed it down to Eriksen and he took the shot of there thank god we didn't concede there now the ball is with Mata into Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo tries to you know finesse it into the bottom right corner the keeper makes a very good save we'll need more than that to be warm now a chance here for Cristiano Ronaldo from like 35 yards out Cristiano puts his foot through it and what a free kick from Cristiano Ronaldo that was so similar to one of his free kicks against Arsenal I mean I remember that one that was a pretty good one and in the 41st minute here Cristiano Ronaldo makes it two goals to nil against Tottenham Hotspurs fantastic from Cristiano Spurs have been destroyed in this game so far Christian Eriksen puts the ball in and De Gea again with the save De Gea has been pretty good in this episode which is really good to see here's Lingard I mean I never thought he was so fast but just look at this guy he has got so much pace Lays the ball off to Martial here. Martial decides to cut inside. And the counter is unreal here. But Martial's shot goes wide. If he would have scored that, that would have been a fantastic goal on the counter. Now a chance of Spurs. It's Wayne Rooney on the ball. Back to Ben Davies. Davies crosses it into Boyan. And De Gea actually makes a mistake there. One of their shortest plays. Boyan has scored a header against us. Pretty disappointing there. I mean, De Gea was having a really good game in the first half, but then I don't know what happened to him. Here, Dembele has a good chance to score from a header to get the equaliser and potentially have Tottenham still in the title race, but he couldn't score that one and the game did end 2-1 to us and that pretty much means that the title is all set and done for us and I think we will be Premier League champions come end of the season now. I mean, 7 points over Spurs, that is just ridiculous. And as you can see, guys, Phil Jones, I mean, he's telling that, you know, he can play a few games here and there, he doesn't really mind, he'll be fully coming to the squad um, I don't know about him guys it's up to you guys whether you guys want him to stay or not as you can see guys Andre Dominguez wants to get into the first team we'll offer him a new contract so that he doesn't leave two years I'll offer him like 1k uh, per month or per week that is actually yeah 
future first team player he should accept that that's a very good contract offer for a young player like him he's a pretty good keeper as well and could be back up for us in the upcoming seasons of this series as you can see guys 31 games played 67 points actually now Arsenal are in second place so it's only a five point lead over them but five points at this stage of the season is a lot but anyways that is pretty much the end of this episode before we end it we'll of course have the player of the episode and this time it's none other than Schweinsteiger I couldn't really find one single player who performed really well in all those four games Cristiano wasn't that great in today's episode he scored that you know fantastic free kick but Schweinsteiger was really good in the two games he played he was solid in the field didn't make too many mistakes and that goal he scored was pretty important for us gave us the three points against Newcastle but anyways guys that is the end of this episode if you guys want to predict the team we'll be facing in the next round or the quarterfinals of the Champions League make sure to leave a prediction and if you guys get it right I will feature your comments in the next episode of the series but that's it for today's episode drop a like on this video 50 likes would be awesome follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you guys soon for another episode of this series